WTCN from the Calhoun Beach Club in Minneapolis and WMIN from the Ham Building in St. Paul. The Cannon Mess, Part 3. Part 1 of WCCO Radio's Steve Cannon's Mess was as one of the original Channel 11 air personalities. It was a different television era, black and white, small screens. One station would sign off so that the other could sign on. Cannon was Wrangler Steve, host of old western movies on WMIN. And I sat in the bunkhouse, talked to the buckaroos, everything was live, you know. And we ran, uh, ran them a kind of in serial form, Monday through Friday from 5.30 to 6. And we had Captain Eleven on, who ran uh, kind of space epics. That was Jim Lang, who later, later went on to fame in television with the dating game. And then Merle Edwards did Merle and the Squirrel. He was the weatherman. Did a little ventriloquist act. The squirrel did the weather. And it was all live. And we were beating the other stations that were running news and weather and sports at that time. Shows you who was controlling the dial back in 1953-54. It was the children. Those children tuned in by the thousands to the most popular kids show in Twin Cities history. All your rounders, if you're wrong to hear a story about a brave engineer, okay, Roger Awesome's Casey Jones was on track for more than a decade. He was television to Minnesota kids. Both stations were ABC network affiliates in 1953. WTCN kept the affiliation when the stations split in 1957. Only WTCN stayed on the air under Time Life ownership. In 1960, the station became an independent. Former news director and anchor Gil Amundsen remembers those days well. At, at the time when I started here, we didn't even have a videotape. We still shot film to, to cover news stories. Uh, no color to begin with. We got that shortly after. There was a time when news stories weren't the only things being wrestled with in the Care News studio. He's a big man. It would be a wrestling ring right here. They'd put it up and take it down. And uh, Wally Carbo used to stand outside the door over there, and uh, when it was time to uh, end a match, he would do something or other, and it would end in a little while. Chris Kraft bought WTCN in 1964 and sold it to broadcast giant Metro Media in 1971 when things began to happen fast. State-of-the-art studios were built in Golden Valley in 1974. News became faster this and live. 5.30 edition of News Center 11. Here's what's happening tonight at 5.30. A fire, as you can see over my shoulder, is raging at this hour. At the WTCN returned to the network affiliate fold in 1979, this time with NBC. And in April of 1983, broadcast and newspaper giant Gannett Corporation took over the station. WTCN changed its name twice, becoming WUSA for a year in 1985 and then KARE in 1986. The station built a growing news reputation with coverage of events like the 1985 Reno plane crash and the 1986 tornado. The only twister carried live in a newscast thanks to Sky 11 pilot Max Mesmer and photographer Tom Empey. As you can see, there is the tornado. It is indeed on the ground. And the station turned up the heat, sort of, on its public service commitment. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chair Carol Evans' coverage of the 1989 St. Paul Winter Carnival Torchlight Parade. Uh, I'm Paul Majors, but for all the clothes I have on, it really doesn't matter. I could be anyone. <laughs> but we'll take your word for it. You're Paul Majors, and I'm Diana Pierce. Let's go right down to him. Weatherman of the free world. That's You're right. right. <laughs> its 40th birthday finds CARE with the highest ratings in the station's history. But CARE's management insists that Channel 11, which has seen so much change in 40 years, is determined to focus on the Twin Cities. In my view, for a local television station to be successful in about 10 years, uh, we're going to have to specialize in something. Uh, in this station's case, we're going to be the local news station, the local programming station, the community affairs station. That's the direction that we're headed. There is a continuity of entertainment, public service, and most of all people that continues through four decades. That tradition affectionately links present employees and viewers to those of the early years, and always will. Alan Costantini, Carol Evan News.